Does that upset y'all? Like when a black man gets wealthy, he gets with a little Caucasian preference? woman? I understand both sides. Like, okay, I want it to be easier. I don't want to argue with my girlfriend every day. I don't want this to have attitude with me every single day. Like, I want to wake up and just be peaceful. Do you think that it's white easier. girls are freakier? That's what I'm saying. All of it. They do whatever. They're just like here. Like, whatever you want, they're here for you. They're going to do it. If you want your ass licked, they're going to lick your ass. If you want breakfast in the morning, they're going to make it breakfast. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's just, I I'm telling thing. you, it's just easier. <laughs> it bothers me when they downplay black women. Mm-hmm. Now, if you was with a black queen and then you went and got the money and then left the bitch and then went and got you a white bitch, that's where I'd be like, that's corn you have to do that because she was she held you down when you ain't had sh- you know what i'm saying but i do understand i'm gonna say i do understand both sides and a lady's gonna be mad at me but i do understand sometimes black women are really 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 hard to deal with mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. i'm part of the problem so do you think that a black woman is harder to deal with than a caucasian woman absolutely i feel like we <clears throat> We are harder to deal with, but I feel like black men should understand where we're coming from because we both came from the same struggle. But what do you mean harder? Just like harder on him or just in general, like growing up as a black woman in America, a poor black woman right like section eight just whatever we had to deal with so much growing up we had to deal with you know what i'm saying our first of all our parents trauma they beat us they you know what i'm saying like Passed we down trauma. Did, it's just so much that we had to deal with growing up as a black woman but that's just like black men y'all had to deal with a lot growing up so i sympathize for a black man you get what i'm saying i have a heart and i'd be like you know what i know what we had to grow up with as our people Right. But I don't feel like they have that same sympathy with us. They're like, oh, you got an attitude. Oh, they do too much. They do. Why do you think we have attitude? Look what we had to deal with. We grew up in a... F- grew up in a hood. We grew <coughs> up in a ghetto. So I do understand why. It's like, I'm not going to be over here arguing with this... B- trying to explain to her why she need my... B-. I'm just going to give you white <laughs> It's going to do whatever the f- I want her to do. They're so being- you think white girls eat... A- <laughs> absolutely like take her to starbucks get her a refresher and she eat my ass later tonight. <laughs> a strawberry refresher. she ain't lying man diamond keep it gangs around the applause diamond that keep it gangs so, so i get it i'm not mad at y'all either yeah, yeah, what it do it's your boy stun lifestyle and you're watching the we in miami podcast and today man we got a we in miami podcast favorite we got the rapper the entrepreneur and now reality TV star on Zeus Network, Baddies Caribbean cast member, my girl Diamond the Body. And we also have some beautiful ladies in the building. Got some models and entrepreneurs in the building. Ladies, let me say hey. Hey. I like that. I like that. But before we get into it, I got to ask y'all, where we at? We in Miami. We in Miami. <laughs> Diamond. Yes. How you feeling tonight? I feel good. I like the new look. You switched it up on them. Got Thank the new hair. You. Yeah, you know, I switch it up like every week. Every week? Yeah. I know like the hair don't be cheap week. either, though. <laughs> well, I get hair for free now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Why? You don't got to pay for nothing. <laughs> Not anymore. So how is this How is this new, fa- new fame, like this newfound celebrity status? You all on TV everywhere? Yeah. The shit change? Like, a little bit, yeah, so far. Like, I'm not at the level I want to be at yet, but it's definitely getting there. So what changed, like? <laughs> well, for one, I don't got to buy wigs anymore. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. People was, like, hitting me up to fly to where I'm at to do my hair, to give me wigs. They're like, wow. I'll fly to you. I'm like, for That's real? crazy. I love, man, being, like, <laughs> uh, social be media influencers or yeah. celebrities. Like, people don't understand the amount of free shit. Yeah. Like that we get. And you know, I used to be a influencer. I was already I, I was always popular. You always you you did get free shit. But too, now that I'm different. on TV is just different. It hit different. Yeah. Yeah. It's different. I love it. Did anything else change? Like do guys treat you different now or it's the same? Uh well I haven't really dated since the show. Really? Yeah. Oh, we gotta get into gotta that later. <laughs> we gotta get to the bottom of this, man, because you know, Diamond <clears throat> She been in and out of a few relationships, you know. She's been looking for her life partner, so we gotta get to the bottom of this shit and see what's good. <laughs> but before we get before we get deep into it, um, 
Diamond, why don't we go around the room, um, let everybody introduce themselves, and let's do an outfit check. Now, let's start off with you okay. for the people that don't know. Talk to them. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Diamond of Body, a.k.a. DTD, a.k.a. Disturbing AKA disturbing these baddies, because that's what the fuck I do. Right, and we got to talk about that, because you've yeah, been disturbing be a few disturbing of the baddies. Yeah, because I be disturbing these baddies, okay? <laughs> they is disturbed, but, um, I mean, you gave me a great introduction, a rapper, entrepreneur, reality TV star, um, I don't know, what else? Former prostitute. So you ain't, I mean, for the right price, you <laughs> For the, hold on, for the right price, you just not might throw, no more? Like, I had to throw that out there. What happened? Last time it was the right I price, know, I just but, might. Okay, so basically, I don't know how you're making so much money doing nothing But the now. money be different because, you know, I interviewed Bandman Kevo, and he told me that, okay, so celebrity girls actually charge a lot more. He said, like, mm. you can sleep with a celebrity for, like, you know, 20 bands, mm. 10 bands. You know what I mean? I like the prices. <laughs> All right, for real. Yeah, shit, if the price is right, I still just like, buy I could it. Name, <laughs> like, I could name y'all a couple of re, uh, wow. big, s- semi-big celebrities that I have confirmed that it's for sale. For sure. A lot of people don't understand oh. that a lot of celebrities will still sell it for the right price. No, I mean, shit, I guess for the right price, hey, every, everything's for sale. Everything <laughs> got a price tag. But I've been making money, like, so much money and, like, so much other shit. I'm like, okay, I don't, I don't need to do that. Right. We got to get into that. And so yeah. before we do it, though, let me see your outfit. Give her some music. Okay. Stand up. Show us a uh, fit. <laughs> DTB. Damn, your booty got bigger. It's body. Your booty got bigger, bro. Hey, 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 look at the shoes. You missed the diamond on the back. I know, Where? I saw that. That's yes, fire. We show that. Oh, we got a diamond on the back. Oh, okay. That's fine. What's that song? Got the diamond in the back. Yes. Gangsta <laughs> Link. Oh, oh. Zoom in on the nails. Hey. Yes. Ow. Yes. <laughs> yes so yeah i have a boutique um oh my titty out yes i have a boutique so this is from my line wildlife apparel wait the outfit yeah oh i didn't oh. know you had a boutique i know right where is it at it's in fort lauderdale oh, oh that's what's up gotta get yeah it. And so for the people that don't know, you did move back to Florida because I know you was living in another state. Yes, I did move back to Florida. Which is your hometown? Which is my hometown, oh, Briar County. Period. Lauderdale? Yeah. Lauderdale? Lauderdale, ho. Lauderdale, ho. Lauderdale. You know, uh, <laughs> jo- when jo- Jocelyn came on, she kept screaming, Lauderdale, ho. I'm like, where is Lauderdale? I heard of it. but Fort Lauderdale. So That's Lauderdale it. is Fort Lauderdale? Yeah. Oh, okay. Like, I thought that was a different little No, pocket. no, no. Okay. Fort Lauderdale, Lauderdale. <laughs> Yeah, that's Broward County. So I'm from originally, uh, grew up in Broward County, but, you know, Miami's down the street. Miami, Broward, right. it's all the same shit for real. So people treat you different here or is it the same since they knew you? Uh, I don't really, like, be outside like that here. Right. Like, I'm not just, like, walking down the street. <laughs> I don't know. You be inside unless it's business. Okay. Broward is more of like the chill place. Like I live in Broward. I sleep in Broward. But like, you know, all the parties and shit happen in Miami. You date Broward guys? I have. <laughs> I stopped. They too hood. You don't like hood they niggas? They too hood. I do, but God damn, it got to be like a limit. <laughs> Like what? Like, no, no. like I'm not trying to get in no drive. Smash by, you out. Like, he holding a gun. That that's too much. No, so, yeah. it's like okay. I like Put the gun to your head while we hitting it. Or. And I'm listening because I want to hear. I'm not from here, so I want to know. Yeah, you know? <laughs> right. <laughs> Broward is just like different. Like they really pop that life. Like it's really going down out here, and it's not like I'm. It's like when you get to a certain age. You know, when you were younger, certain things cute. Like, oh, he yeah. got a gun. But now it's like, he he got, got a gun. gun. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. we could get pulled over. Like, I could go to jail. <laughs> oh, like, How many bodies you got on that gun, girl? You know what I'm saying? Before it was cute. Like, yeah, bitch, we got yeah, my nigga. But now it's like, oh, babe, I got shows to do. I right. Got, yeah. It's different to, now. You got you on some corporate gotta be shit. Smart. Yeah, like, you get what I'm saying? So I feel like you need, like, an older, like, Caucasian man now. Ooh. Like, Ooh. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You need like an older white guy. I don't think so. No, not like a white guy. White I don't guy know. Y'all white. can't see her she with a white, that, like an older white man. Chocolate baby. Yeah. <laughs> she want that chocolate. Yeah. I, I Raise your hand older. if you prefer chocolate. 
We got one, two. I don't know. I, 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 it don't matter. Uh, yeah. Raise your yeah, hand if you if you like to date interracially. <laughs> so y'all, so y'all prefer chocolate and interracial. Yeah. I'll do a, a a a older white like sugar daddy, but yeah, he rich. can't be like my boyfriend. So you can't yeah. like wife one up. No. Right. We just gotta lay next to you, wrinkle. You no, know, it's okay. I get it. So why are you not attracted to white <clears throat> men? Um, I don't know. I just don't. Like, like when you say, I like you're wanna... not sexually attracted to them, no. or just physically? Not physically, not sexually. Like, there's nothing about a white man that turns me on. Like, is it related to like penis size? No, like their lip size. This <laughs> is like lip size. no. Listen, please, white men, don't be mad at me. You know, everybody got their preference. I hear me on podcasts. They talk about black women. They don't like black women all day long. I don't say nothing. Okay, what you like is what you like. I do not like. White men. Really? I'm surprised. I don't really know why I thought you like white men. They like I can't believe it. Very right small. Small. Their lips are small. small. Now, who in here disagrees with her? Who in here is a turned on by a white man? A nice Italian. You. Yeah. yeah you I kind of, you I too. Yeah. Okay. Can you can you start, can you tell us why you're turned on by a white guy? What about them that you do like? Their bank account. See, that's it. Can we get a cha ching? I can get with. No, well, no. no. <laughs> I like the bank Besides account too. Besides that, like, I feel like if you date like an Italian man, they're very like family Gentle. oriented. Gentle. They're mm-hmm. gentlemen. So they know how to treat you good, and they're just very like romantic. Mm-hmm. I feel like. So you want to be romance? Yes, yeah, like. <laughs> you had a little moment right there. Right. Like, I don't want to get choked yeah. out all the time. I want like a little like kiss a flower, baby. I don't Aww, know something yeah. cute, like right. make me feel like a princess. Now, now, what about you? You raise your hand too. You, you, so you prefer <laughs> white men? No, no, I don't prefer white men, but I don't mind dating a white man. Do a lot of white guys try to talk to you? Yeah. I feel like a lot of white guys, they yeah. love chocolate women. They do. Yeah. They do. Like they go crazy. They do. Over really y'all. crazy. Like. No, they do. And I think they probably treat us better too. They do. Which is yeah. really sad. You know, I did a I did a podcast. <laughs> I had a podcast with a group of all um I had all African American women and I had two African women from Africa. And it was weird. They all on the that one episode said they prefer white men. I couldn't believe it. I'm like, what? One African girl said she would never date a black guy. I was like, what? Like it was real controversial. Like they got a whole bunch of comments. People were spiting in the comments, arguing. Yeah, I think when <laughs> um, black women uh, like or date out of a uh, race, it's not mm-hmm. usually about attraction. It's more just about, like she said, they're the way more she, romantic. She, she, she said you. everything. They're more financially, you know what I'm saying? They're like, Stable. it's just. They're gentle. They're gentle. They're nice. They're loving. They're caring. Mm-hmm. But it's something I'd be like, mm, get out of my. Because they can get irritated. Yeah. I don't know, like me, like I think like white girls are pretty. I had like one white girlfriend before, but it's just different. Like it's just something about, you know what I mean? Something about that. Mm -hmm. And you know what too? I feel like like, you know what I mean? It's weird. I think that one thing that why another reason why I can't get into white men, we just don't like have things in common, if that makes sense. Right, like relating to them. Yeah. I I be feeling like I'm too hood for a real like white, white person. He probably be like, damn, bitch. But right. you know you can take some like sometimes they're good for advice. They tell you how to get yeah. rich like that. They can but tell some you, like, they yeah, most times they don't even about care a how business to do it. It's like I'm with like you, they look, like you. I'm with my white man That's true. doing this. If they like you, they don't care what. You'd be like, honey, what does that mean? Why don't you just scratch? <laughs> <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Like, I can't, like, man. It's gonna mess it up, bro. You yeah, it's more like, difficult like they don't understand. Me. Like well, black <laughs> black men they grew up with, you know, they sister, they know. All right, so can y'all explain for the white guys that's watching? Why do you guys don't like men to touch your hair? Can you tell them why, <laughs> white men, why you can't touch a black woman's hair? It's not real. <laughs> <laughs> but so I mean, what? So, the, but I, I want to know, like, literally, even though if it's a wig or not, why can't they touch? Because it? we don't want it to fall. We don't want it to move. And then, like, I be having these naps in the back of my head. I don't want you all touching. Like, oh, like, <laughs> that's embarrassing. Don't touch my little kitchen nap. Not the kitchen. <laughs> you funny. Yeah, they be trying to kiss you. They put their hands all around. I'm like, hey, mm-hmm. hey, don't feel. <laughs> back there it's not it's, it's a little uh you know yeah we got we're gonna yo, we got a good show for y'all tonight we're gonna get into a lot i know y'all are very curious about 
a lot of things that Diamond has going on. She's got a lot of drama, too, on the show we got to talk about. Mm -hmm. But before we get into it, let's go around the table real quick and let everyone introduce themselves and tell us what you do. We'll start over here with you and go around. I'm Dollface. I have a beauty bar. I do a little of everything. Liquid lipo, liquid BBLs, facials, lashes. And speaking of your beauty bar, we was actually over there yesterday. Yes, Diamond I pulled up, got your we facial. Were. Yeah, facial felt good. It felt amazing. What it you get? Really yeah, 20, I got the twenty four K. She got the twenty four K facial. Yep. That's what's up. I got a robe. I got some slippers. I got <laughs> a treatment, some wine. You look at full okay. princess yeah. treatment. <laughs> now, Dollface, stand up. Show them, show them why they call you Dollface. Give her some music. She too. <laughs> Hold on. Show us the shoes. Look, she got the shoes. Shark boots. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Now, what about you? What's your name and what do you do? Hi, my name is Daniela. I am a massage therapist. Ooh, um, I need a massage right now. Mostly po- post-op massages as well as I do lashes as well. Mm-hmm. Do you find me excellent? Do. do you work at a place? I, you well, I work own? from home at the moment, but I'm mobile also. Oh, you need to talk to me. Yeah. <laughs> Just look, right? she's going to try to steal you over there. <laughs> yes, okay. Now, when you say massages, do you do like full body, like yes. deep tissue? Yes, deep tissue. You ever heard of a new rule massage? I heard about it, but absolutely not. Okay. <laughs> you never heard of a new room? New room? It's like where like they put they all they all themselves up and they all the subject up oh. and they just like slither really massage <laughs> them with their body. I like mean, women I do that to men. Correct. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Men can't do that to women. They probably can, but do I don't know. Which she That's said she I'm want one. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to find out. <laughs> I love you. A little six pack on my back. <laughs> <laughs> now stand up. Show us your fit. Oh, oh she's not a turkey chick. Got a little jiggle. She's so sophisticated. A sophisticated twerk. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. Are you Caribbean? Jamaican. Hey, anybody else from the island in here? But 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 but, but. Yo, real yadi. Oh yes. All right, now what about you? What's your name? What do you do? I'm China Mommy, and I do brows. I do microblading, and I also work in the nightlife. Oh, okay. what, what nightlife? Were like what? I got a club? Dance. You dance? Where you dance at? Oh. Mm, I'd rather not say. <laughs> She's like, you ain't going to have them stalkers from the show pulling up on me. Like, hey, man, I see you on that podcast, man. I had pulled up. No, I don't want no stalkers. Thank you. <laughs> now, what's your outfit look like? Stand out, show us Oh, my God. Scams. I got some skin. Oh, she got some bump back there. Everybody here got an ass today. Damn. She got a big ass. Right. Like, I wasn't expecting that. She I cannot breathe, but it's That's okay. You're not supposed to be able to breathe. You know? Period. Now, what about you? Uh, my name is Abby. Abby Melody. Um, I model. I do software development. And I'm a writer. I wrote a book. Ooh, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> okay, turn up. Yeah, I have a book on Amazon. What you write? What you write about? Um, it's called When the Sun Goes Down. Um, oh, some freaky uh, shit. Like, <laughs> <laughs> what happened when the sun go down? <laughs> when the sun goes down. Hold on, stand up. Show us your yeah, pic. the freaks come out. What happened when the sun hey, go down, hey, gang? Okay, oh, yeah, give her some okay, music. Yeah. Okay, slam thing. Okay. That's what's up, man. And my name is Stun Lifestyle. I'm the host of the We and Mommy podcast. You Woo! already know. Make some noise. Uh, okay, let us see the pics. Stand up. Versace uh, right here. Yeah. This is my brand, Stun Lifestyle. Cut that he got the music on. Right? <laughs> so, Diamond. Yes. Tell us about it, man. Now, Baddies is in the fifth season. Uh, you've enjoyed incredible success. Season five is called Baddies Caribbean yes. because it is filmed in different areas of the Caribbean. Is that right? Or... Yes. So, 
Do you have Caribbean roots? Yes, I do. Um, I'm actually Jamaican. I was born in America, but my mom and my dad are both Jamaican. Mm. I didn't know you was Jamaican. Yes, I am. So you be eating like curry goat soup and shit? Oxtail, rice and peas, ackee and saltfish, all of that. But, but, but. Yeah, yeah, I'm a real, real Jamaican. Like, I'm a Jamaican. That's what's up. I was just born in America. You know, recently I interviewed Safari. I think he's Jamaican, right? Yes. I believe I so. Know. He's definitely. Yeah. What you think about Safari? Would you like talk to him? Would I talk to him? Yeah. Um, not really. Really? Why not? I feel like he's a little too um like pretty for me. You don't like pretty boys? Yeah. She said she don't want a hood nigga. It's so like, what, what do you want? A pretty boy, a hood nigga, pick one. You want in the middle, like in the middle. I like a reformed hood nigga. I like right. a nigga that used to be in the like streets. Like he don't do it no more. He do shit. Yeah. He's older now. He's wiser now. And but he can really still like if he needs to do something, he can do it. Not even. I just don't like that swag. Like like right. you know like. So you don't yeah, like a so guy that's like more well groomed than you are? Because usually they be like, no, I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't want nobody in the mirror longer than me. Mm. Right? Yeah. I guess. yeah. So and it's nothing wrong. Raise with your hand if you want a pretty boy. I like so looking. I like y'all. looking at them. They're very yeah. handsome. Like Safari is a very good looking man, I but know. I just know the problems and type of shit that come with yeah. that type of nigga. Like. <laughs> like what? Like what one problems one. come with a pretty boy? I don't know. Like we just be arguing about who's gonna be in the bathroom longer. <laughs> right, right, right. Like you done hey, the bathroom. Come on, get out! I'm Fight trying to get married. Hell, hell. <laughs> so, so y'all like a guy that's a little rough around the edges? Everybody, I like a man, yeah, a man, yeah, like a man. I don't want to be. Funny you know, it's weird man. though because you know what I noticed. Like, let's say, like I don't do my edge up for a while and it get a little scruffy. Girls be looking at me more, like, when my edge up ain't is clean. But when I'm, like, more clean and dressed up, I feel like girls be intimidated. Because, mm-hmm. like, when I be just in some sweatpants and just whatever, yeah. girls be staring at me more. Like, it's we- just like with guys, y'all right. probably get a lot more attention with when y'all buns, be have on. Um, yeah, you be at the grocery store with a messy haircut and a hoodie. I bet dudes be running up. But when you dress nice, they be like. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. right. Yeah. It makes sense. <laughs> But I don't know. It's just something like I just like a little bit of aggression, like a little bit of, mm-hmm. <sighs> but not too much. Right. I don't want to die. So <laughs> would you guys like date a man that is, is bisexual? No. no. I would. Oh. Really? I would. Why, why would you date a bisexual man? Um, okay, so basically, I just feel like I'm a non judgmental person, and I feel like I've done a lot of shit in my life. So, who am I to judge you? Shit, I maybe you don't want to so know. Hold my on. Past. So, so if you meet a dude and he tell you, like, yo, <laughs> I can't judge nobody, so I want to be I with wouldn't. you, but like, I was with men before, but I want to just be with you exclusively. You would like trust that, or my thing is, it's like, okay, if a nigga gonna cheat, he gonna cheat. Regardless of what, mm-hmm. it don't matter if That's he true. dated a. I don't even want to say that, but nigga gonna cheat, nigga gonna cheat. At the end of the day, my best friend is gay. I have a gay best friend. You he's smashed a guy. him? No, <laughs> no, he's like fully gay. Nah, like, a lot of girls. No, 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 no. I brought no, no. on. I brought on a guy. He was actually, you know, he's gay. You know, shout out to Bobby Lights. But he said that girls love to have sex with gay. He said straight Absolutely girls always not. try to turn him out. No, no, no. Not that type of... No, I have a best friend. He's like a girly, like, gay boy. Mm-hmm. But so, basically, so you're not attracted to a gay man? Like, do not you? like gay, gay. No. But basically, let me say why, why I'm saying this. My so friend... So kind of gay, but not gay, gay. No, no, no. My friend will show me people that he deal with. Mm-hmm. Right. And it's niggas. And I, I would <clears throat> never think in my life that... Like, you'd be looking at a picture would, like, damn, I would talk to them. Hell yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm like, damn, you, he in your DM? Like, he be showing me shit. So I'm like, at this point, bitch, anybody. I, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm not. Raise like, your hand if you ever dated a guy and you found out that he seemed like he was down low. Nobody. You have. <laughs> so what, what, crazy. what happened? I mean, I had a relationship on a rea- another reality show mm-hmm. with a boy. What's Gucci. his name? Gucci. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I heard of him. He actually, he was on the show. Yeah, he was. Yeah. So, wait, he's bisexual? 
No, he doesn't say he is, but to my knowledge, it's, you know, things, there's rumors that's been spread. About what? About him and trans women and different things. So at the end of the day, I, I, can we change the subject? (laughs) (laughs) Like I said, I don't want to date no gay ass, gay, gay man. Like I'm not dating no like sissy. Right, right. But if (laughs) if my homeboy is be like, oh, well, I know somebody that dealt with him like back in the day, you know, I don't give a fuck. I'm with him now. This is what we doing. I like him. Okay. Okay. But what I'm saying is I don't judge people. What you did in your past is what you did in your past. And I want you to have that same energy with me because what I did in my past is what I did in my past. I don't want you to come to me and talk about, oh, well, this nigga say he, uh, hey, I accept you. (laughs) You accept me. Okay, I'm gonna accept you and your shit. You accept me and my shit. If I like you and you is who I like and I like everything about you, I like your swag, I like That's the way right. you dress, I like the way I you talk, I like that. the way you treat me. I'm not gonna be like, oh, well, I find out that you did some shit five years ago. And I, so if you hey. found out he had sex with a man five years ago, you'd be okay. As we, long as he's doing everything else. Talk about that. Exactly. If you, if you accept me, I accept you, babe. Do you feel like men don't really <laughs> accept you? Like, because, you know, you've gone viral in the past. I remember you did a, uh, you went viral for saying your body count. And mm-hmm. I know you say your body count was you had sex with over, you know, 2,000 men. Do you feel like men don't accept your body count? Like, you, you get judged more and you can't really find love because, like, they judge you? No, I don't have that problem. People love the fuck out of me. People be loving me too much. I be trying to fight these niggas off and get away from me. Leave me alone. So you feel like men don't I care about your body I'm like, sir, I'm a hoe. What are you doing? <laughs> you want to get me pregnant? <laughs> me? You sure? <laughs> so, so you, so I, I be, I be confused, bro. So you telling me that men don't care about your body count? No. Wow. And I'd be like, because you know, they say, stupid. you know, this is what they say men, a man's body count does not matter, but a woman's body count can does I, matter. Can I make a comment to that? Yeah. I, I've Talking heard to Mike. That, I've heard that also, but let me say this they may say it in the streets to other men, they don't give a damn. You don't think no. guys care? No. I think also, too, they're just blinded by my beauty. They don't be giving a fuck about what? Nothing. They don't care. Right. They be like, just. So you never met a guy like, yo, I want to be with you, but I can't because your body count is too high? No. But maybe I never just fucked with that type of guy. Maybe right. I be staying in my lane. <laughs> like, hey, I'm going to stay over here with the hood right. niggas. They don't give a fuck. <laughs> he they said they that love niggas. me. <laughs> hey, I'm going I'm to go over here. With right, the right. Hood. Do y'all feel like body count matters? For a woman, it matters to some men. Well, it matters to some men, but if you don't know, then I mean, won't how, hurt them. yeah, how would you know unless? So you don't tell if a guy asks. For what? Do guys that. ask you that or no? Yeah, them have the nerve to ask me. And I'm like, listen, the past is the past. You either like me or you don't like me. Exactly. Right. Do you I like know, me? I didn't know how strong your accent was. She got all the way to make it like that. Yeah, you don't like me? Hear me yeah, now. Yeah. You hear? <laughs> That's what you blood is. clots, you know, <laughs> <laughs> body boy, you know what I mean? I so, feel that though, like. So you don't tell the body count. I feel like guys too, oh, that's true. Should. We shouldn't ask questions we don't want to know the answer to. And also we live in, where am I? Do y'all all live in Miami? Mm-hmm. Raise your hand if you live in Miami. people just don't everybody. really give a fuck. I feel like everybody out here fucking everybody. I'm going to be honest with you. You Guys, watch. don't ask questions you don't want to know the answer to because that that's happened to me one time. They're gonna lie anyway. It happened to me. Um, I asked this girl that I was with. She was my girlfriend too. Like, <laughs> so I gave her what she was gonna say. So I asked my girlfriend. I was like, "Yo," I said, "Cause we, you know, what I mean, we got on the subject of her ex. You know, we would bump into an old boy sometime. Feel me? He try to act like he cool with me. Try to walk up, dap me up, and all that, and you know, be respectful to her and shit, like bow down and all that. But like, I was like, "Yo, like." Is his bigger than mine? <laughs> like, I want to know, dog. Like, I know that shit weird. Like, why, why do guys care about that? that? But I want to know if my dick is bigger than your ex, bro. So she would always be like, yeah, nah. She would always be like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Show me how big his dick is. Like, do the meter. Like, and she did the meter, bro. Like, she did it with her hands. And, like, she did, like, this, bro. Like, I was like. They that shit crushed me. I was like, we'll next time. <laughs> <laughs> like I was really fucked up over that for a minute. 
don't ask how big, if, you know what I mean? I'm big too, though. Like, I have a big, but like, big, this but motherfucker, no, like, when she, she get to she meet her, lied. she should have lied. Yeah, yeah for she sure. Because I be asking niggas questions about their exes. I be wanting to know. Yeah. I well, like, is my pussy better? Like, it's fucked up. Like, let's say he tell you, nah, her pussy. Did you love her more than me? Like, yeah. did y'all do like what we be doing? Like, I'm no, and then we're gonna lie. But I really don't they, be wanting they, they to know lie. the truth. Raise your hand if you lie to stroke a man's ego. If you gotta lie a little bit, yeah, ain't nothing wrong. Oh, Absolutely. you don't lie. <laughs> <laughs> she raw. Wow. So you don't like? Let's say he hitting it. It's not good. You gonna you gonna fake moan. You are gonna make him feel like you're. When I'm gonna be like, all right, I'm going to. I'm done. You're not gonna moan and fake she it for him. Wrong. <laughs> ah, sweet toxicity. All right. <laughs> Raise your hand if you ever faked the orgasm. I said this on the show the other day. Guys, like, we'll fake it too. Like, one time I pull out and spit on her back, make it look like, feel like I know it. Like, I, I had to go. Like, I don't want to make it feel bad. Like, but wait, was it not good? Sometimes it just be the vibe may not be there. You might have shit to do. She like, didn't feel just, you spitting on her back. Really? Nah, like she thought I was spitting on her back. So I, nah, I did I it quietly. Spit. I would have been like. <laughs> nah, because I pulled out and you don't know where the drop is coming from. It could have came from. I, I feel like something. I would have known. You in the moment. You ain't going to know. You could have just. Which I'll be mad. Well, you called out a nigga I spitting on like... your back. Acting like he. But he really well, I feel like with guys, y'all more control the sex. Like if you wanted to stop, you could just stop. You don't gotta like. Yeah, but if you care, up. you don't want to make her feel. You know, then yeah, it's like, oh, what's wrong? Like, yeah, you know, you're yeah. not attracted to me, baby. Me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, I feel you. I feel that. Do you think Caribbean girls are harder to please because, you know, let's be honest. You know, it's it's different over there. No, like in Jamaica. <laughs> Is it harder to please a Jamaican girl? Mm-hmm. She said, yeah. Like, I'm Me? looking at you. Me? Yeah. I'll just please you. It's harder to please you? Of course. Of course. She is wrong. <laughs> I feel she like. Is so wrong. Honestly, I'm not like. I feel like I'd be more pleased with like. Um, uh, foreplay and just mm. like intimacy and just like. You know, like I like to experience more than just the actual like sex. Cause yeah. I had sex with somebody that had a big, dick and it was like, okay, the sex is good, but like the dick is good, but the sex is not good. It's like all about right. the chemistry. You need yeah, chemistry. Yeah, like, yeah. like yeah. I'd rather yeah. have yeah. an yeah. average yeah. size yeah. with really a really good experience yeah. than just a big. Dick and it's just like now. Now hold on, back to it. so you so you Caribbean. So like I said, it's different Caribbean. So. Are the other cast members on the show Caribbean? Uh, not really. <laughs> not really, because I'm like baddest Caribbean. So it's one other. It's one girl that's like Caribbean. Is Natalie Caribbean? No. <laughs> oh. So what? What is your relationship with Natalie now? Uh, we don't really have a relationship right now. We actually like I'm trying to figure out that myself, honestly, because basically she don't follow me on Instagram and she don't follow you after you got on the show. <laughs> yeah, like I was on the show, we was following each other. And after I got off the show, she unfollowed me. Like right after, or how not right after? after? Like a little bit after. Like she gave me a birthday shout out. This was so weird. She shouted me out on my birthday and then unfollowed me on my birthday. Really? Yes. On your birthday? Damn. <laughs> like what? Ah, it was like toxicity. a farewell shout out to the point where I went back to her story to see if the shout out was still there and the shout out was still there, but the follow was gone. I mean, did you ask her like, "Hey, Natalie, why did you unfollow me?" I did. I met on live and I asked her like, "Bitch, do you have a problem?" And what she say? She didn't reply. I asked her, like, what, what's up? Like, let me know. Like, are we fighting when I see you? Like, what's, what, what are we doing? So have you ever, like, talked to her since she unfollowed you? <sighs> I, I didn't talk to her directly. Talked to her through, like, a third party. Mm-hmm. But she still didn't give me no, like, clear answer. She's like, oh, well, I was just only, I was like, okay, but, like, at the end of the day, I don't feel like Natalie ever liked me. Honestly, I feel like she's a hater. I feel like she's just a natural hater. Mm. So anybody, she don't even like her best friend, Scotty. Period. So how the hell she gonna like me? How could I? How could I feel like she gonna like me? She don't even like her best friend. So why why do you think that? 
Did you did you guys see the video where she poured the water on her? Yeah. In on the her foot? ass. She was twerking. Scotty. Yeah. Scotty. Uh, That's a hater. The body. Yeah. Yeah. So the bitch pour water on my ass while I'm out in the club twerking. The bitch, I'm going to turn around and slap the shit out of you. And I'm never talking to you again because that's some real hating ass shit. Now so, you're going to be uncomfortable for the rest and of And then talk about, oh, no, we was just turning up. Babe, we not at the pool. If we was at the pool, okay, cool. We're at the a nightclub. I have, yeah, I'm dressed. So for you to take a bottle of water, open it, pour it on me in a nightclub, I have to sit back down. I have to walk around. Like, why would I want to be wet in a nightclub? Soaking wet from right. a bottle of water. Like, bitch, you're a hater. You hate on your own best friend. So, bitch, how could I not expect you to hate on me? She likes people to kiss her ass. She likes people to be on her dick. She, she don't want you to, like, over. right, overdo her. She yeah, wants you to just her be her. her mini and her lap dog. She wants you to be like, oh, my God, Dolly, Dolly, Dolly. Oh, my God, Dolly, you're so pretty. Right. So when you're not a fan and you're not, kissing her ass and you're not sucking her dick like you know what i'm saying she kind of just don't take a liking to you mm. and then even you know what i'm saying i feel like even with scotty like she's kind of was trying you know she's kind of getting her own name a little bit she kind of branching off a little bit she probably just don't like that like bitch fuck you here's a water bottle so <laughs> so if you if you did a celebrity boxing match with anyone from baddies who would you choose um probably natalie you would fight Natalie? I would. You think you could beat her? <laughs> <laughs> I'd beat the brakes off of Natalie. Natalie's fucking pudding. She's so you jello. really you really think you could beat Natalie? No, for sure, hundred percent. Like that's not even like a doubt. A like not a but mind. not a celebrity boxing match, but, but like the, the in boxing the street, match like, in the streets at the reunion. Well Ooh. she could get it. So like what you would hit her with like a hook? How would you like? <laughs> <laughs> you want to see how I'm gonna yeah, beat Natalie me, up? But okay, let me see, but what, let me let me see how your right hook I will hook only look. fight Natalie if she wanted to fight me. If she confirmed, if she you know agreed to fight me, I would never just go punch Natalie. So it's not like on site, like at the reunion. No, you're not it's gonna not like up on site. On okay. But now if she come back and talk shit, if she get online, be like, oh yeah, fuck that bitch, then yeah, it could be on site. But right now it's still up in the air because at the end of the day. You know, I'm not going to take away from the fact that she did give me an opportunity. She did put me on a show. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I respect her as a boss. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I'm not kissing nobody ass. I don't give a fuck who you are. I don't give a fuck if you are my boss. If I don't like you, if you my boss and I don't like you and you you, you want me to, I'm, I'm quitting. <laughs> so what was your relationship like with Natty, Natalie while you were on the show? Like, were y'all cool? Like, while you were on the show? That's what I'm saying. We never was, like, cool. We never was, like... She ain't never, like, we never exchanged numbers. We never, right. like, talked personally, privately. It was always just, you know, it was a business relationship. Right. And which I'm cool with that. You know what I'm saying? Everybody don't got to be your friend. Right. But, you know, when you unfollow me and then you're at the club with a girl, uh, she was at the club with the girl, Tinkabella. Mm hmm This girl got this headlock thing and she was doing the headlock in the club. Like, y'all are making fun of me. Both of y'all actively. So with that being said, now I feel some type of way. Like, bitch, mm -hmm. okay. Now, um, I remember. And then you still follow the girl, but you won't follow me. So now I'm thinking like, okay. Wait, bitch, follow what girl? The girl that I fought, the girl I was beefing with. Oh. So she follows that girl. So you think that might be part of the reason? Yeah, that's what it's giving. But that's what I'm saying. Like, if that's the, like. Now, what's the, which girl that you fought? Tink. Right, okay. Her name is. So she fuck with Tink. You think she cool with Tink? No, she is cool with Tink. Mm. So that's the thing. It's like, okay, if you cool with her. Who won the fight between me, you and Tink? Me. Right. For sure. She look like she got some hands on her too. I want to see your right <laughs> hook. Can you show me how you do your hook? <laughs> she look like she got some hands. <laughs> no, but seriously. <laughs> girl, <laughs> the <that>? girl. <laughs> She's funny. <laughs> no, seriously. The girl, she is like a, like a linebacker. She likes to tackle. So she just, she don't like throw fists. She just like rush. Right. You get it? So right. while she's grabbing me, I'm punching her. How was it working with Lemmy, the CEO of Zeus Network? I actually really, really, really have like the utmost respect for Lemmy. 
Um, I think what he's doing is amazing. I think that he made that bag, man. Zeus, man crazy. Yeah, he did. But he's also, you know, putting a lot of people in position to make bags. He's making a lot of people famous. He's making a lot of people rich. You know, even as far as like just production, his family is all the, you know, the production. Like, he's like, I can see, uncle, I can see you doing a spinoff. This my best friend. This my, you know. Can y'all see her doing I a spinoff can. on Zeus? Absolutely, yeah. We need uh, the Diamond the Body show. Yeah, we really do. Yeah, we need for the that. Diamond Dolls. <laughs> right. Yes. Diamond Dolls. Diamond Dolls Miami. Then you can do Diamond, Diamond Dolls doll. Caribbean. Yeah, yes. <laughs> Diamond Dolls for sure. Absolutely, definitely need my own show because at the end of the day, like. These bitches are boring. What you smashing in me? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, be honest. Be honest? Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All I'm going to say is, I love rich niggas. <laughs> Ooh, that mean, yeah. But no, that's my boss. I don't like to mix business with pleasure, so I wouldn't. Right. Right. <laughs> now, now, what about um? What's your situation uh with Krishan Rock's sister? What's Krishan Rock's sister? Uh, what's her name? Tasiki, 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 Takashi. When I, I think I always think of Tasaki. What is her Six nine. Tasaki, Tasiki. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what's your relationship with her? I don't like her. Why not? Cause she don't like me. Why bitches don't like you, bro? Cause I be disturbing these bitches. Cause that's the fuck I do. <laughs> DTV disturbing these bitches. I don't do nothing to the bitch, and she just don't like me. So, bitch, I don't like you either. Yeah, talk about. Oh, I like Diamond, but she just be doing clown ass shit. She said that on the show. No, she said that on live. Oh, and someone oh, sent it to you, like yo. I mean, it was on all the Zeus blogs. You know, we have oh, our own like blog it pages. Yeah. So it's like, am I supposed to just be like, oh, well, she did say she liked me. And ignore the fact that the bitch called me a clown. Because, bitch, really, if I'm a clown, well, then I'm it. Right. That's the clown I am. I'm it. Right. Facts. The fuck? Yeah, no. That's, like, that's facts. how dare you? And then have the nerve to the people that you like. You talking about I'm a clown. I do clown shit to go viral. But the bitches that you like is a fucking literal whole Instagram comedians. Right. That do clown ass shit to go viral. So do you want to fight her? Shit. Do she want to fight me? I might have to see that fight on the next episode. Them, but at the same time, like, bitch, I'm not ducking no fades. Right. Shit, what's up? So you, um, are you cool with Krishan? Like, do you like Krishan Rock, her sister? Uh, I don't know her personally. So, so is Zeus like cutting good checks? Like, I saw where they just bought Natalie Nunn or Rolls Royce. Are they like looking out for the cast? Like, no, they're looking out for. No. their people mm. but like i said the opportunity that comes with don't get me wrong okay zeus pay so someone you. told me I, they told me natalie nunn got like 10 15 million from the show but she's the i mean she's the show right that makes sense she like for own, her too. yeah we're producer. like you know what i'm saying we're little pawns we, we go they come we come and go mm-hmm. they don't really not saying they don't care about us but they really don't because really smiley came on the show and she said she got a big check i think she said she got like a half a million or something she's a goddamn liar oh that she, bitch lies so fucking much oh damn <sighs> <I can't stand. laughs> she capping bruh <laughs> half a million she told me she made like a good half from a what million. from the show not from the show they not the paying is, like half a million no they're not giving you a half a fucking million for your first season and you're fucking nobody right. before that. Right. They gave Tommy 200000 to come for one episode. Why the fuck would they give you half a million? Who the fuck are you? <laughs> <laughs> they gave her probably the same shit they gave me. Shit, it's our first season. They just giving us, you know what I'm saying? Don't get me wrong. I'm not, we're literally not allowed to say the number. Right. I can get fired for telling you exactly how much I got paid, so I won't tell you how much like I got confidentiality, paid. Like confidentiality. Right, balls. NDAs, all that stuff. But what I can say is it is a good amount. It's a big, large chunk. They give it to you, and that's that. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, a lot to come with it. it's not like a residual. You don't get a check every week. You don't get paid every month from right. views and streams. Like we just, that was our money. That's it. But it's like a lot of people do. do is, it's opportunity. You know what I'm saying? This is how it works. A lot of people don't understand how it works. Like, like she said, so when you get on a TV show, when you're on your first season, that's like more like the time you have to kind of prove yourself, become mm-hmm. popular. And then they're like, mm-hmm. they're like, oh, people really love them. And then you jump on again or do a spinoff, and then you can renegotiate your rate. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Yo, I'd be surprised when I hear. Do you know um, Terrence Howard said he only got like fifteen thousand dollars for Hustle and Flow? Right, right. right. That but was a classic movie. Absolutely. I see my, I that, that. that was one of my favorite yeah. movies. How you get fifteen bands for that? And they made fucking twelve billion. Right, that movie made just like millions. Zeus. They that made twelve, twelve hundred million. Zeus made a hundred billion off us. But like I said, you have to capitalize. There's the thing: you got to capitalize off the opportunity. You have to be a marketer. Yeah, you have lot. to, you know, what I'm saying, go out and find. You know, you're gonna right, get. Yeah, you got to capitalize. Off I got a fashion over deal. Right. They, you know, what I'm saying, so you like, gotta different think about stuff what good is gonna come from, from it, from it. Yeah. right? So, so now, from you Fashion Nova show, pays me yeah. every month. Right, like, the show don't pay me every right. month, but the Fashion Nova deal I got pay me every month, exactly. and that's coming from being on a show. Right. right. A lot the of people don't understand benefit. how to leverage your your uh, position. Right. So they they get stuck because they're like, okay, well, where's the next check coming from? But then, bitch, you wasn't even uh, entertaining enough to get on the show again. Right. <laughs> so, but you just stuck. Right. So, what happened with your show on now that's TV? Deja vu. Um, nothing. Uh, there's two seasons out right now. Uh, you guys could go check it out. Yeah, now that's TV, that. Deja Vu. That was my first introduction to reality TV. So that was your first show? Yeah. So, you know, were the Now That's TV, were they upset over your decision to go to the Zeus Network for the Baddies Caribbean? No. Me and, um, I just did a, a show for them. I just did a reunion and beat up Big Lex. Oh. God damn it. The one that got beat up by Jocelyn? Right, I remember. Yeah, um, I just the beat her up. Lex drama. Yeah, I beat her up. Damn, mm-hmm. that's crazy. <laughs> I'm at you, I'm like, nah, I beat her up on on now that TV. So yeah, I'm still like I still have a good relationship with them. I, you know, what I'm saying I keep my relationships with you know it's nothing personal. I yeah, gotta go where the money go. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Now Zeus, if Zeus had me on contract and I was getting a monthly uh, retainer or something right. like that, of course I'm gonna stick with where I gotta stick with. But I, that one, listen, I, okay, this is the thing too. Zeus be having more rec, no Tino Shay, but there be like regular girls on there. I'm already. Been a stripper, been introduced to a certain lifestyle, been, you know what I'm saying? My rent is not 1800 My rent is like 4000 So that money they gave me, that shit was gone. So how much money do you think you've made in your whole life? Like being a dancer, you know, working and turning tricks, like doing business deals. Yeah. And I also own the strip club. Like so doing business. Like I've from the strip to, club alone, everything. I've I for sure made like $5 million. Damn. It was during a pandemic. Everybody had money. Bag. I was making like a hundred, a hundred thousand, one fifty a week. Damn. So yeah. you made five million off dancers? No, that was from owning the strip club. Oh, owning. But okay. yeah, five million off dancing too. Should I been dancing for fucking ten years? Hell right. yeah. You've been in the game a long time. Mm-hmm. But so, I'm I'm a popular ass stripper too. So when I strip, I make. It's a different because it's like it's not like you just. A sexy dancer is like they right. want so the, you because the club I was famous. the club I made five million. It was in a shorter period of time because it was a a lot a more lump sum of money. So I made that probably like in a year and a half, two years. So you're telling me you made five million dollars in two years? Absolutely, running a strip club. Now I made five million dollars in ten years dancing. Damn, what's sure. the most a trick ever gave you? Mm, I'd say like uh fifteen. 15k yeah that was for like a weekend anybody ever had a sugar daddy raise your hand they all versions in here today they versions no you know what listen let me say something right <laughs> sometimes i wish i could just go back in time and just never got into the lifestyle do you wish you well not nah, but on a serious note do you wish you if you could go back would you not sell anymore it's like a blessing and a curse because sometimes i'll be like bro what the fuck you just you just like i could just <laughs> you just gonna give me this money for this <laughs> and people do this for free like what you get what i'm saying but then sometimes it's like it's a curse because you get addicted to the money you get addicted to the lifestyle and then you got to keep up with the lifestyle that's the hardest part it's like i gotta keep up like my rent is due every month i don't right. i can't live in like a raggedy apartment or like a bad area like i like nice things i like 30 inch weave i like mm-hmm. driving a nice car so now i have to keep getting this money so i could keep living the way that i'm living you get what i'm saying right now so if i never started feel like, living like this you feel like it's pressure so like let's say a girl gets introduced to that fast money lifestyle and she starts getting that fast money and she changes her lifestyle you feel like it's more pressure on a woman to like 
keep it up and then it's more pressure you got to do more and more and more to keep that money and that lifestyle up i mean it's not like more and more and more you just got to keep doing what you're doing so like even with strippers like i know some strippers that's 40 years old 45 and it's like i i can't judge them i get why they're still here they still have bills to pay they still they be looking good shit so they like well shit if i could still go in a club and make a thousand dollars a night why not and a lot it's of hard people, to turn down that money once bro, you got introduced you, to it Listen, regular people work fucking 40 hours a week and still be, they paycheck be like $500 for two weeks. Damn. Can you imagine just going to work one night and making a thousand, two, three, four thousand? Like, you never know. You can make a thousand dollars, you can make seven hundred dollars. It's addictive, you can make, I know. Bro, it's just like, how do you just give this up? Right. Like, you really have to... Did you ever think about, like, you know what? I don't want to do this no more. I'm All the time. You know how much time I'm going to give up this stripping? lifestyle. I'm going to get a regular job. Like, did you ever think that Man, back in the day? did that. Been there, done that. You quit, and then you went and back. And I was like, bro, I'm about to get evicted. I got to go get some money. <laughs> What's the longest you quit for? Uh, Well, there were certain times where I quit. It was certain times where I got taken out the club. Like, I got a boyfriend, and he was, you know. I don't want you something. to dance no more. Let me take yeah, care of you. Yeah, you know, it was just different periods in my life. Um, But the longest time I tried to not dance on my own was probably, like, three months. So, with you? I had opened a boutique. And it just was like, ugh, the I feel like that's every dancer's dream, like open a boutique or like a salon, you know what I'm saying? Like, and then they just, yeah. yeah. But I think I did it uh, when I first, first did it. I did it prematurely, you know, it take a lot of money too, man. It takes a lot of money, but it takes a lot of like just knowledge. It does. I feel yeah. like a lot of businesses fail because they don't have the knowledge right. about business. Mm -hmm. And one of the main things is like, you're. Some businesses, most businesses don't even make a profit until the first year to, mm -hmm. to the second year. They say that they, so now if you they say to have a business, you should be prepared to not make any money for a whole year. You should have enough exactly. capital to last you 12 months without making the dollar. Exactly. And most people, when they start a business, they expect to make money their first really month. Fast. And it doesn't you work like just that. Be rich. So now six months go by, you like, <laughs> yeah. it's not working. I'm going to just quit. Like you would have quit because you don't right. know. But now if you just had that knowledge, right? if somebody told it's you, you read a book, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Went on Google, like, you know, you would have known. But, but let's say you was to have a daughter. Would you be okay with her being a absolutely dancer? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. So let's say she turned 18. You wouldn't want her to. No, because then I failed as a parent. Like the, I feel like the thing with parents, like we're supposed to make sure that our kids do better than us. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We do what we have to do to make sure y'all don't have to do what we had to do. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like when, yo, when you have immigrant parents and they s swim from across wherever the hell they came from, it's like, I did that to give you a better life. Right. So you so got to like, do I better. I didn't sacrifice for you. How you going to get into this? Yeah, like. I'm trying I, to make no, it easy babe, for you. I'm doing what I got to do to make sure that you don't ever have to do this. Right. You know what I'm saying? So if my daughter was to do that, then I would feel just disappointed as a mother. Like, damn, I failed. Now, what about you? Because I know you said you dance as well. I would tell her, like, about it and what it's like, you know, to be a dancer. And I will support her no matter what she decides to do. However, I will try my best to try to keep her away from that environment, to try to keep her, like, in the right direction. But if she does choose to go in that direction, I'll tell her, like, this is what you need to know. You need to be prepared for this. And So what is it like being a dancer? <laughs> it's a lot. It's a lot. It can be draining, too, I know. Draining, like, like, even when I, because I used to have a lounge, like, in Atlanta, I opened yeah. a lounge, and even that, like, being there all the time and the loud music. Even if you work at a club, I'd be that shit. I didn't. I'd be like, yo, when I get home, I want to turn the music off because I didn't heard loud music all night. Mm -hmm. It's mentally and physically, it just drains you. It drains you so much, and to the point that you're just like, the fuck. Like, it's it's a lot. It's, you ever quit before? Oh yeah, a lot of times. But like she said, it's 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 addicting it's like that money is like fuck, it's literally man. like drugs like it literally is. like you, so can sure go, when you can is go like somewhere and make all that but money that fast it's important like the one thing i always tell like other girls like save your money like mm -hmm. save 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 and invest be smart with your money have a plan so what what do you prefer diamond because like i i, I want to see you settle down i would like wouldn't that be cute like her have a couple show mm -hmm. or something 
Why you? Why you think you ain't been able to like love. really? Don't get for the love. Of why God. can't you keep a man, Diamond? Mean? Like, why can't you keep a man? It's not me, guys. It's them. It's always them. It's, it's not they me. Fault. I'm perfect. Oh, I know lie. people say that. Oh, that's a toxic trait right that's there. That's, that's a red flag. I agree, Ryan. That's, that's a lie. Like I be like, look, like my exes be blowing my phone up. I'm, I'm not answering. Like I don't want to talk to you. Like I decided. So not you to think you can get any one of your exes back? Absolutely. So you ain't never been left. Mm, oh, I got left one time. Okay. And I'll never forget it. I was I, like, I, he left me. <laughs> I said, oh, he was real high value. <laughs> I got left one time too. Every single girl I ever been with, whether it's dated, slept with, anything serious. They to this day they want me. Mm -hmm. I've never like except for one girl. Other than that, every girl wants. Yeah, but this one guy I will never forget because he really like I was like, you really you gonna stop? Raise your hand if you got left before. (laughs) Everybody get left. Yeah, I got got left left. for sure. And that one guy you ain't never got left. And I fucked it up too. I know I fucked it up. And I was like, damn, I fucked that shit up. Let me do something real quick, um, because I want to play a quick game before we get out of here, too. Um, Raise your hand if you're single in here. I'm trying to figure something out. One, two, three. Okay, so everybody except for you. Okay. Okay. All right, so. Okay. (laughs) Raise your hand if you you want to be in a relationship or you want to stay single. I want to stay single. Raise your hand if you want to stay single. Stay single if y'all can. One. You want to stay single? I feel like I'm more productive when I'm single. When I be in a relationship, I be laid up. I be want to be with my man all the time. Like, bitch, no. Go all ahead. right, so if you had to choose one right now, being single or married, raise your hand if you would rather be single than married right now. Married? Yeah. yeah. Single or married? If you'd rather married. be single, raise your hand. But, okay, married with your soulmate? Yeah. Like, yeah. I don't know. I might have to go with married. Yeah, married with my soulmate. Like Raise that. your hand if you'd rather be single. Who the fuck would or rather, rather be, be married. single than with their soulmates that married. God put them on the fucking earth to be <laughs> with? Just, like she said, married. Yeah, well, I'd rather be married. Why you got that nasty look on your face? Like you. You can it's make it, it, you can no, make it fun. fun. You can make yeah, it fun. I've been married eighteen years. The streets It'll be 19. is not fun. Okay. So I'm, I'm tired of. It. I'm why tired did, of but why do you fun. think it wouldn't be talking to Mike? Why do you think? Oh, it's just that like I have friends that are married and they just seem some of them just seem miserable and I'm like they're like don't get married. I was like I, I, I can tell you know but I I mean everybody's different you know what I mean. So, but did they marry for love? Or so do you see yourself life? like getting married and having kids, or you don't want kids and marry life? I I, I kind of do, you know. I have parents that have been married for like thirty seven years, starting tomorrow. But it's like I don't know. I don't know with today's. How life, old are you? If you don't mind me asking. You have kids? No. Oh, I don't want kids. <laughs> I don't know you if don't I want, want any. You'd have to be the the, the good. Like good I partner, made my mind up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You don't want no. kids. I can see some little DTBs running around. A little mini DTBs. Snatching wigs. No. You can do like those family (laughs) pictures holding a baby. I got a little sister and a little brother, and I'm like, absolutely not. You don't want no badass kids. They're bad. Did you get your tube stuck? How can she? She never had kids. Did she, did she have kids? No. Kids. You said, would I get my tube tied? Yeah, you you got. Yeah, can't you get your tube tied even if you don't? No, have kids? I don't. I, I want to get my tube tied because, really? baby, you never, never know. <laughs> They're not gonna do that, baby. You you gotta have a baby. I might meet oh, the really? love of my life, exactly. and he might. So you have to have a baby a first. Yes, baby. They're not doing that. That's the rule. Yeah, that's Damn, I didn't know that. He that's might want to get. I might have to yeah, have it's a child. Not happening. But me personally, I don't want one. <laughs> <laughs> not in this generation and this like era. These kids are bad as hell. They're mm-hmm. grown as fuck, and you can't really like protect them. The, the stuff, the shit is everywhere. It's in every state, everywhere. They it's are. everywhere. It's on every phone, TikTok, Instagram. Like, they on Instagram at five. And so six. what? All right. So if you don't like, all right. So uh. Ultimately, if you're not going to get married, what fulfills you like that companionship or that like urge to have someone like that really understands you or someone that really loves you? Or is it like you don't really look for that? It's more like you just find pleasure in just being with yourself and being happy and you just have fun with other people or like y'all ain't looking for 
let me say this. I think me personally, I feel like I I don't want to say that I meant for like one person. I feel like I'm like an experience. Mm. <laughs> I know it sounds crazy. So you think you're like no, made. You think like, you're made for everyone to enjoy. Right. Like the world. Like, you're made for the world to enjoy. Not like the world. But for every man that I've came across, I've never been in a relationship for like five, six, seven years. But for every man I've been with, like I'm just an experience. Like we experience each other for six months. We have a great, amazing time. We love each other. Whatever the situation is, we move on. You get what I'm saying? Then I right. meet another man. I'm like, oh my God, I love him. And then we have our experience and we have our time. Like, I have so many memories with so many things. I'll be like, oh, I loved him. Oh, I loved him too. Like, I just be having so much fun. Right. So you just feel like it just nothing lasts forever type of situation. Right. But I like. You like having that, but it, just not forever. But I don't think. I've never met somebody that I was just like, oh my God, I'm going to spend the rest of my like, life this is him. it. What about you? Because you were looking disturbed earlier. You you don't believe you could find one person forever? and like I do, but I just think I, I don't find my person. Just like no, she's the experience, it. so am I. So like, you never met a guy that you were like, yo, I want this guy. I want to be with him exclusively. Like, this is the one. I don't want no other girl to come near him. Well, I feel like if you're in a relationship, you feel that way in the, the moment, moment. Until, mm-hmm. like, they Something mess happens. up. You know? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. Like, that's experience. Yeah, that's like, literally what it is. After the th- six months, the whatever happened, mm-hmm. whatever the situation, okay, we go our separate ways. So you feel like you're an experience. Of course. But for the six months, <laughs> we have. So you're for the world months. to enjoy. You shouldn't no, no, be well, well, for one person. You, you're too. No, 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 your experience is too great to be. No, 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 no. Like, suctioned down to one man. You want to for the world to enjoy. No, no, no. no I don't. Not the I don't world. Have the no, I don't have the patience <laughs> to deal with anybody to begin with. You understand? It's like I'm very picky in a sense, but also I like to be alone. I got mm. like I'm you're alone now. space. I yeah, yeah I, I, I love to. Me be too. Alone. I like to be alone. Yeah. Love Even to if alone. I got a girlfriend, See, I'd be like, "Baby, yeah. can you like go do something today?" I love to. Like, do I do not want alone. you in bed with me all day. Because mm. sometimes I just be in my bed. I work from my bed. Mm-hmm. I could be making big moves in my bed, and it's like if she's not working and she's just right there, I'm like. Just get a hobby, hang out with your friends. Yeah, Everyone needs a little ask space. People me right now why my husband is not in Miami. Right. <laughs> and he has his own stuff. And I laugh at them because they be looking at me and judging me. Everybody right. needs space. They do. They judge me. And I laugh because people don't understand. I'm so happy. Mm-hmm. And he yeah. knows I'm happy. And he makes me happy still. Mm-hmm. But I'm happy. Right. And... He, because I like being alone. I think space is I healthy like for alone. any I relationship. Enjoy, but when I want my husband, I want him. Right, right. right. But I like to get out. I like to live my life. I like to do what I want to do. Still, that don't mean we've been with each other since I was. 15. But that's hard to find because most people don't. don't they you? wouldn't. They wouldn't be cool with that. Mm-hmm. They don't but want. You, you know what I mean? So, see, marriage is. I get like everybody at the type of saying marriage is a job. Mm-hmm. seriously it's a full time job right? because you may go through a moment in your marriage if you've been married for a certain amount of time where you don't even want to be don't know if you want to be with yeah you're gonna go through that yeah so you're gonna go you through know? that but I think that if you marry a man you need to be with that man live with that man Y'all you gotta to live know. with something I, I you feel got like to yeah, live. I do. people say you shouldn't but you gotta live because it changed like I, they, you yeah, gotta see their like, habits how you, you pick can, your like nose said, how you fart six, can I put up with you farting you on me she said six months I love him and then six months I like the next nigga that's true so if <laughs> yeah. you go live with somebody you think you are gonna marry him in a year in a year and you live with him you'll be like I don't like Ooh. this nigga it'd be different yeah his toes not but then you said it's a job so we hate our jobs motherfucker gotta still go because I done dated some girls and then she started she come over for like a stay at my house like two weeks and then I get to see what she really on and I just be like oh no bro so yeah but when you really like someone too the little shit don't disturb you like when you don't really like them then it pisses you off like why you leave the toilet seat up or why you like it's if like you really fuck with someone and they fart on you, it's funny. It's so yeah, and you'll laugh. Like if a nigga fart on you right now and you fuck with him, you won't get mad. What you dummy? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I wouldn't get mad if nobody fart on me. For real. Oh, so yeah. Natalie Nunn farted on you <laughs> on the show. I see you walk up and like fart on your ass. You gonna like, slap her? You gonna fight her? What she, you gonna like, do? Did on my leg like funnily, but like if I was sleeping and she farted in my face, like trying to be that. funny, like trying to play you type oh, shit. Oh, we fight. <laughs> <laughs> but like you know playfully like walk by fart like that's nothing to me but yeah I'm, I don't know I feel like I'm an experience I feel like 
And I'm such a like good person. I feel like I be helping people. I feel like I'm be every relationship I be with, I be helping the people mm-hmm. like be better yeah. people. If you're not making, they say if y'all not making each other a better person, then that's not the that's right yeah. relationship. It'd be like I be making them better for their like relationship. Because you know I was looking at a video recently. It's funny you said that, that. And the guy asked. He said, "How do you know if someone is the one for you? How do you know?" And their answer was. They make you a better person and you make them a better person. You know what I'm saying? Because you got to think about it. I done been with girl. They ain't make me a better person. Right. It's just like me? nonsense. Like, yeah. It's just like whatever. I mean, it's but sometimes it's it, it be one sided. It be one sided. Yeah. yeah it's like, like I be making them a better person, but, but they, they not be helping me do better. nothing. Yeah. So that's why I got to go. Because like, okay, I'm going to help you for these six months. I'm going to give you some knowledge. I'm going to give you some game. But I'm already here. You're here. Like just mentally. You mm-hmm. get what I'm saying? So I can't stick with you. I can't be with you because I already know what I want. And I, you know, but I can definitely give you some knowledge while I'm here. I can help you mm-hmm. out. I can show you how to look at things differently. Cause like I said, I be fucking with hood ass niggas and I be showing them like, look, you could do other shit. Be like encouraging them and shit. <laughs> yeah. I be showing them about money of like stocks, mm-hmm. investing. I'm can like, I, oh, can you could do this. Yeah. Would you date somebody that makes less money than you? I have. You have? Yeah. Like, by mm-hmm. a lot. Not by, like, a small amount. Not like a, a... Like a broke nigga. Yeah. A broke nigga. No. I could fuck a broke nigga. <laughs> right. I That's definitely so had sex with a broke nigga. Do you think... They broke- have the best dick. They do. And they fuck you good, though. Ooh, they fuck you so like you- they need somewhere to stay. <laughs> what you say? Man, do so you, they? But I wouldn't be with one. Like, so I you think, like, why? Because they work harder because they know they broke, so they got to make up for it with the sex? I don't know. Like God, God, be trying to, first. he be trying to be funny. I'd be like, really, God, you <laughs> gonna give me this dick with these pockets? That's fucked up. So you don't, <laughs> so you don't think that like rich, you don't think that a wealthy man, you generally has good sex? No. Let me tell you why. This is my theory. Okay, I feel like men that are unattractive and not really good with sex, they generally tend to make more money because that's how they have to get women. They understand that this not gonna get the woman. This not gonna get the woman. I gotta go get the money to get the woman. So they go get all the fucking money so they can get the woman. Mm. A more attractive man, somebody that does have, you know, they they know from young, like okay, girls like me. I don't really gotta do too much, so they don't do too much because they like okay, they can I get bitches. Looks. Yeah. yeah, or they just do the bare minimum. Like I'm okay with being just regular. Right. And that's just just natural because I feel like men do everything for women. So it's like if you're a man, you feel like you don't got to do much to get a woman. You won't do much. Well, do you think vice versa too? like a woman who doesn't isn't successful, has better pussy? That isn't successful. Yeah. Like vice versa. Like, like let's say me. Girl. If let's say I get with like a girl who doesn't have anything <clears throat> versus like a rich chick. Do you think the girl who doesn't have anything is going to cater to me more? The sex will be better type mm. shit? I don't think it works. <laughs> it's not the same, right? It's no. not. Cause it Both make... of them might have like good wet pussy. Yeah. Right? yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Everybody can got I ask rich, a question? Can I ask you a question as a man about men? Yeah. So I'm not going to get into many details about it, but it is a question. Why do some men want women? that have i'm not judging anyone but right. have a lot less that's a very good question so they can control them that's the men question. because men think that's what it absolutely. is men, i think men naturally because i've noticed a lot of men yeah. just be intimidated by some women absolutely they want men the naturally are i think men naturally are built in to want to be providers absolutely and so i think that so the less if a you woman, have the more they could provide yeah, yeah if a woman if if a woman makes and they even like it's psychology on this is books Absolutely. on this. They say the best way to like make a man want to be with you, like psychology wise, I'll tell mm-hmm. you our secret Act is up. to make him feel like you need him, like make him feel okay. needed because men want to feel needed. Same with women. These mm-hmm. women want to be mommy. They want to feel needed. Mm-hmm. It's a lot of women who only like broke niggas like that got money, it's like rich women. Mm-hmm. They only gonna go for these broke young niggas because they, they want to They want the needed. attention. So... And I know a lot of very wealthy men and a lot of their girls did not have money. Absolutely. I know multimillionaires 
that get with a girl that doesn't have any money because they don't care. They don't need Absolutely. it. They already have the money. Absolutely. And they they got more control when you don't have anything and I take you and I put you in my house and I put you in my car and I put you in my everything. I have control over you. And I'm not going to lie. As a man, I enjoy showing a girl something she's never seen before. But I can show a girl something she's never seen before, even if she does have money. Right. But then you mm-hmm. also be like, well, should I gave it to you? I can take it away if you don't do what I want you to do. That's where the control come in. At. Right. Like, and the bitch a lot of people try to control you with money. You ask her to do because now it's like, You've bitch, you finna take that. away my car. You finna take away my house. I'm not going to live nowhere. Like, what the fuck am I going to do? I have to stay with this. But nigga. you got to think like a man, though. Like, we don't want a girl that's already didn't seen it all and shit. Like, I don't want if I take you on a private jet to fucking Bahamas. I don't want you to be acting all bougie like, oh yeah, I, I was on a jet. Uh, no, right. now you see like I want to blow said, your fucking mind, bro. Okay, and if I'm not blowing your mind, really act like it, like fake that's it. Why I no. said, if me and him separated. Like no. if you get it'll into be it, hard for me. Yeah, no, that's not it true. Will. I that's really be true. feeling that. No, that's not true. Because sometimes people be wanting people that have experienced certain things, so that they're not like with somebody that's just like, oh my god. Right, everybody different. There's some guys who who want Chris. It's like, bitch, calm down. Just Ruth Chris. You want somebody that just that. Match your fly. You want somebody that could put that shit on yeah. with you. You want somebody that. This okay. is what the thing is. If Sometimes. you if you have money and you're not really impressed by the guy and stuff because you already done seen it all, that don't mean you got to be bougie about it. I get I mad as hell if I pick it. up a girl yeah, in my Rolls Royce. It. And she jump in and she don't say, oh, wow, this is a very nice car. Absolutely. I ain't going to fuck with you. But this is what I'm trying I to say. Like, you, you could. Playing, you, that's disrespectful. No, yeah. If I don't get a compliment you can on my car, I can't even deal with you. I get what you're saying. But you can Because then it's like, money. that's weird. No. That's not normal. You can have money and have experiences and still know how to make a man feel good. I could been on 10 private jets. And when I get on your private jet, I'm still going to be like, this right. Is nice. Hey, this exactly. is nice. So it's not about right. that's how you having do it. the it's experiences. About how you do it. Yeah. Because I, I just feel like if you try to impress a girl too much, they won't like it. Like they don't appreciate it because it's like, I like then it's like, now. oh, I, like flowers and I got stuff. him. Wrong, I got him. You know, he doing this for me, that for me. It's like you got to do it and it disappear. Like you can't just be doing it seven days a week. You got to yeah. be real sweet three days and then one day don't call all day. Right, yeah. And like, then I'll be like, oh, oh what? Hold, hold on. You was texting me good morning every morning. Yeah. Now I'm going to get a little annoyed if you text me good morning every morning for fucking two weeks in a row. Like, damn, nigga, okay, good morning. If he too perfect, but y'all won't if like you him. Did it th- if you did it one week and then the next week you ain't do it at all, then I'll be like, why you this good Yeah, you got to make a girl wonder <laughs> because... <laughs> Now I'm gonna text you like, uh, hello. Yeah. You gotta make a girl wonder, man. You but got, still if she be ain't nice wondering, at like, first. I wonder, does he like me? I wonder if she ain't asking that question, bro, then she not gonna appreciate you. Oh. But you know, we live in this generation now, Diamond, where everybody say, like, men are different now. We want princess treatment. Do you think that's true? Like, men want princess treatment? <sighs> Mm-hmm. I believe that I mm-hmm. do, I and, but so I too. don't. I don't think it's nothing wrong with it, though. I feel like you like should. what's princess like, treatment? But like, I feel like a, guys prin- I feel like a man wanting treatment. princess treatment should have king money. Thank you. You want to? You want? Okay, princess but what? Money? You should have queen money. You should have that money where it's like I'm going to work. I'm over here making million dollars, bitch. You better treat me right. But what's princess treatment that a man? Don't wants? ask for princess treatment like, when you work at Nike. Like what's the? Don't do that. Do not. Don't work. Don't ask for princess treatment when you work at motherfucking Cheesecake Factory. Can you not oh, bring it? You're not paying. You're not paying no yeah. princess a uh, uh, rent. You're not doing so hold nothing on, hold on. for that treatment. So nah. So I gotta disagree with you. So you trying to say that basically if a man has an honest job a nine to five at cheesecake factory or nike or walmart you're saying that basically you won't cater to him as much as a multi-millionaire I'm not saying don't don't be honest you can't ask for princess treatment you could just be like well i'm making an honest living i'm she working i'm working we both working bitch if i gotta wash the dishes one day you gotta wash the dishes one day mm-hmm. i can't just be like oh yeah bitch you need to wash the dishes every day so no. if i work at mcdonald's are you gonna cater to me as much to if I was I'm gonna, a I'm gonna cater to you, but it still have to be equal because I'm working too. At the end of the day, you go to work, I go to work. We both we 50 50. So guess what? So the, you're not gonna cater to me as much because I work at McDonald's. I'm not saying as much, but what I'm saying is it's gonna be split. Just like the bills are split, the princess is gonna be split. <laughs> Some days but you gonna if make I was, breakfast. If I was wealthy, then I would get a hundred percent. Absolutely, because you're paying a hundred. Okay, taking so you're saying that you will treat me better. Me. 
You're saying you'll treat me better if I was rich versus better. I work at McDonald's. No, I'm not saying I'm going to treat you better. I'm still going to treat my king like a king, whether he rich or whether he's the pauper. But he'll get extra shit. But at the same 50%. time, if I'm working too, I'm tired too. The same way you come home tired, so I come yeah, home tired. Yeah, she's saying if you are rich, she don't have I don't to have work. to work. So, so all my whole all attention energy. is going to be towards you. But what if he if rich, I gotta what work, if he rich but he still got you working? Does he still get 100%? Well, he, no. He get, he get no, done. he get I, he going to get what he can get from me because I'm tired. Bitch, I just got off work. My feet hurt. No, babe. I'm tired. <laughs> uh, I'm going to cook. When I, when, hey, look. We going to door dash today. But once you take me off my feet, you give me princess treatment, I'm going to return the princess treatment right back to you. Yeah. Right. Listen, a girl will do anything for you, man, like if she really loves you. That's, yeah, true. that's true. Like I you agree. don't really got to ask, man. It's like a lot of, and I tell the, my brothers, bro, like, if she's not making you feel like that man, then you need to find a different girl, bro. Yeah. Like, I don't care how much you like her. She has she's to like you, you the same way. Like, I'm attracted to energy. Like, you know how it is. You might see someone that looks sexy and you mm -hmm. want to get with them. But if they not returning the energy, if they not writing me and showing interest, then I lose interest. Like, you got to be into me. Like, No, cause, absolutely. Because once again, I feel like I'm a prize. prize. So I, you got to treat me like that. Like, not even on no cocky shit, but, but do like, you feel like you have to reciprocate the energy? Like, yeah, like I gotta show her that she's special. She gotta show me. I hate all that game shit. Like, act like oh I don't like you, or act like you know not catering to you. Right. Like you know what I hate if I ask a girl like something like yeah you know um like let's say we chatting and she's like yeah you know you should you should like come you know what I mean cook me some dinner or something. And if she be like dinner, oh hell, like if she like start, yeah. like damn, bro, it gotta be like that, like yes. So you'll really you what the you want me to cook dinner first? I gotta go to the grocery store. I gotta use my money and pay. You have you seen groceries inflation? Are you crazy? <laughs> You want me to go to the grocery store, yes, and spend two hundred dollars on groceries yes. to cook you food, right? Are you going to buy the groceries? Are you going to reimburse me my money that I paid for the I groceries? I want you to buy the groceries with my nine to five that I work, I and I only to make five hundred dollars. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> ah, sweet no, toxicity! Now you tripping? But this is what I don't understand, mm -hmm. and, and explain this to me. Because what the bitch can't even cook now. You don't even like the bitch no more. Now she's gonna waste. <laughs> Wasted her money, bought the groceries, and then you but ain't call her the next day. You can learn how to cook if you willing and able. Then I respect that. Like if you don't know how to cook, but you like, yo, I wanna, I wanna learn. Cause see me, I'm like more pescatarian too. Like I'm right. very picky. I like all of. So if she would have said so to she you, she can learn how to cook vegan. Okay, shit. let me ask you this: If she said to you, if you said, "Damn, babe, you gonna cook me dinner?" If she said, "Babe, I would love to cook you dinner." You think you could um just give me the money for the groceries? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm cool with that. Okay, because that's what y'all gonna do anyway. No, but sometimes listen. You're right. I feel like if everybody just be more open and honest with what they want, instead of just let's talk. you know what I'm saying. Let's talk. Okay, you want me to buy you groceries? All right. Well, let me give me the money and then let me go get it for you. Right. Instead of me just I mean, blowing you but off. But if you like, make more oh, money than the man, man, like let's say her for example. Mm -hmm. So she let's say she makes more money than the guy. So. Should he still buy the groceries or since she make more, should she buy the groceries? No, when you got money, you kind of just do. It's a different vibe. You're going to be accounting to it. It's a different vibe what like, you mean? when you got money. Like with me. you going to buy the groceries for if, a broke guy? If it's somebody that I really like and I'm and, and, yeah. and I'm going that far, if I go that far, you gonna, I'll go buy some groceries. Yeah, I bought food for a nigga. Like, like, I'm not going to be I'm not going like, to be around here looking at no money and be like, oh, my God, I, I got to spend no. 200 on some groceries now. So, so let's say he's broke, but he's like, he's working ambitious. towards his dreams. That, he has a plan. Can work with that. He's like working with something. You yeah, can work with that? I can work with that. So would you be okay with like taking care of him until he oh. gets on his feet? No, no, no. <laughs> taking care of him? Yeah. Yeah. Like fully? We do that for y'all. How many girls How many girls have we taken care of? Do y'all feel like when a black man get money, he go like get with mm -hmm. a white girl? Mm -hmm. What do y'all feel about that? <sighs> Does that upset y'all like when a black man gets wealthy he gets with a little Caucasian preference. woman are you okay with that anyways but it's their preference uh okay so it bothers me when they downplay black women mm -hmm. like 
Like, try to make it seem like that other race is better than you. Yeah, but like she said, if you grew up in, like, the suburbs in a white Mm -hmm. area and you just, you know, I had this girl since fucking college. Like, this is my girlfriend. My wife is nobody. Yeah, that's fine. That's cool. But now if you was with a black queen and then you went and got the money and then left the bitch and then went and got you a white bitch, that's where I'd be like... That nigga corny. You didn't have to do that. Because she, was, she held you down when you ain't had shit. You know what I'm saying? But I do understand. I'm going to say I do understand both sides. And a lady's going to be mad at me. But I do understand sometimes black women are really, really, really hard to deal with. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm part of the problem. So do you think that a black woman is harder to deal with than a Caucasian woman? Absolutely. I feel like we... <clears throat> We are harder to deal with, but I feel like black men should understand where we're coming from because we both came from the same struggle. But what do you mean harder? Just like harder on him or just in general, like growing up as a black woman in America, a poor black woman right like section eight just whatever we had to deal with so much growing up we had to deal with you know what i'm saying our first of all our parents trauma they beat us they you know what i'm saying like Passed we down trauma did, it's just so much that we had to deal with growing up as a black woman but that's just like black men y'all had to deal with a lot growing up so i sympathize for black men you get what i'm saying i have a heart and i'd be like you know what i know what we had to grow up with as our people Right. But I don't feel like they have that same sympathy with us. They're like, oh, you got an attitude. Oh, they do too much. They do. Why do you think we have attitude? Look what we had to deal with. We grew up in a fucking, grew up in a hood. We grew <coughs> up in a ghetto. We grew up, you know what I'm saying? Getting- so you think basically like, so let's say like a Caucasian girl, she had a life easier. Kind of like Absolutely. what comedians say. Comedians say it's easier to make a white audience laugh than a black audience. Like if you, if it's a black audience, you gotta be super funny. Cause mm-hmm. it's like, they going through more. It's like, bro, make me laugh. You better tell me something real funny, nigga, you know? Right. But white audience, you can say anything. And they're like, ah. <laughs> Right, they're, <laughs> they're so, so much happier. They have yeah. less reasons to have attitudes. They right. have less reason. They had less struggle. So where is the disconnect though between black men and black women? What is the disconnect? I feel like the disconnect is um, black men and black women. We're not, honestly, I know this might sound really crazy, but I feel like we don't read enough. I I believe that. That's true. I think we don't read enough because there's some things that I've learned in some books and it's really changed my life and it have gave me a different outlook on life, even with just being positive, even with just, you know, it made me deal with even men differently. I'd be like, okay, let me not act like this Mm -hmm. because it's not necessary. Mm -hmm. I feel like, I feel like you have like, my personal experience, I feel like African American women might have their guard up a little bit more Mm -hmm. and it might be because they've been hurt like in the past. Like you think about it, every girl's like, look, all I ever met was fuck boys. Everybody, every dude I ever met let me down. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Right. So it's like my father. So who if wasn't I'm in, if I'm in Publix, let's say I'm in a grocery store, right? For example, and let's say it's a you know a black girl in front of me, and I, let's say I just having a friendly conversation. I'm not trying to get your number. Right. I'm just speaking because I speak to everybody. I'm a Gemini. And, she and I'm just what? like, hey, how you doing? And they just kind of like stand offish a little bit. I think it's because like they maybe dealt with so many fuck boys, so they got a guard up. But mm-hmm. why do you think that? Like black women are more standoffish. What I'm saying is because of their whole upbringing. Like, do you not understand? Like, growing up in a ghetto and watching your cousin die and your brother die due to gang violence, and you know what I'm saying? Your uncle was selling dope, your mama was on crack. Like, you know, I'm a shit that black people, women have to grow up with. Like, my hell yeah. Because you know, it went viral recently. It it was on the blogs where they show like all these little young athletes, these black athletes they were getting drafted and mm-hmm. then like they uh wiped up like the the white right because they and went so to a lot of people got college. mad this was all uh, viral it's true you saw they it went online to white they were talking about it. does they that make you feel women. some type of way like when like let's say a brother from the hood like he gets that scholarship and he goes to like the the white all white school and then he gets drafted do you like not like the fact that he gets with the white girl after that you know those white girls be so oh oh johnny what do you need oh you know 
Do you it's think like, they just be using them, or you think they really love the the black guys? That's why I said I understand both sides. I understand a man like, oh, no, okay, no, I no, want no. it to be easier. I don't want to argue with my girlfriend every day. I don't want this bitch to have attitude with me every single day. Like, I want to wake up and just be peaceful. Mm-hmm. And that's where you get with the white women. Because you said earlier, you said that's why a lot of men get with white girls when we were talking about the freaky stuff. Do you think that it's white easier. girls are freakier? That's what I'm saying. All of it. They do whatever. They're just like here. Like, whatever you want, they're here for you. They're going to do it. If you want your ass licked, they're going to lick your ass. If you want breakfast in the morning, they're going to make it breakfast. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? It's just, I I'm telling lick. you, it's just easier. <laughs> so I do understand why. It's like, bitch, I'm not going to be over here arguing with this bitch, trying to explain to her why she need my ass. I'm going to go give me a white bitch. It's going to do whatever the fuck I want her to do. So you think white, so girls, like so being, you think white girls eat ass? <laughs> absolutely i think black men is being <laughs> lazy they don't want to struggle they don't want to have the the hardship of like getting through to like That's having true. that attitude with having the you know what i'm saying being i think a to, black girl to eat ass but i think it's frowned upon in our community like when we was here and last I think time that the, it's frowned upon in the african-american ass. community oh, so sure. they are embarrassed to do it well, i think behind closed doors whatever those I think a black girl would do whatever. No, those white girls. But it's it's she harder. Said, no. This is the thing. This is what I'm saying. It's harder to get us to do it. Right. We will do it. It's harder to get us to do it. So that's why I said they're being lazy when they go to white girl. The white girl is gonna do whatever, however, mm-hmm. whenever. With us, it's like you gotta really break us down. You gotta yeah, let our guard down. You gotta, down. Do you gotta make yeah. me love you. You gotta, you gotta bring the flowers. You gotta, do yeah. a bunch you gotta of rent shit the BMW to get you like to that level. Yeah, you right. gotta do everything. With the white girl, yes. like take her to Starbucks, get her a refresher, and bitch, she eat my ass get later what? tonight. <laughs> <laughs> a strawberry. Refresher. She ain't lying, man. Diamond keep it gangsta. Round of applause, Diamond Not keep it gangsta. Yo, so I get it. I'm not mad at y'all either. Cause sometimes you just want to go. Nah, to but route. like I'm, I'm gonna be honest, Diamond. Like, like just having this interview with you now versus like the one we did last year. Mm-hmm. I see like so much growth. just like growth in you. Mm-hmm. Just Thank like you. you just on another tip now. Right. I just like, see both sides. You're on a I'm whole. Not, like, I'm not one sided anymore. But I even understand. with everything, like you just seem like you just. You matured so much. Not saying you wasn't mature back then, but like you just on a whole different tip now. Thank you. I read some books. Has something happened to change you? Like since Yeah, I read some books. I be reading. I right. read. And it really be opening my mind to other shit. I'll be like, God damn. So what what's what's next for you? What's on the horizon for, for Diamond? Um, so you know, right now I'm about to release a new single. Hey. It's called Line It Up. Turn up. Yeah, line it up. It's actually like it it's actually a baddest Caribbean disc. You gonna get Natalie Nunn feature on it? No, why would I put her on it? <laughs> I'm dissing her. <laughs> it's called line it oh, up. So she might reply. Like all she you pussy hoes can line that shit up. So it's about Natalie Nunn. It's about all them bitches. Dang. Whoever won it, all you put that toes can line that shit up. But are Dang. there any like re- I will fight all you bitches? Are there any and dire- not give a fuck? Are there any direct references to Natalie Nunn in the new single? I didn't say um her name, but like I said, it's for whoever. Like whoever take it that way, whoever won it could get it. That's how I feel. <laughs> Turn up. <laughs> I'm not turning down no phase. I'm not ducking no phase. Like whoever won the smoke could get it. Now, la- now, last question. What advice would you give to fans or just anyone in general who want to do reality TV? My advice to anybody that wants to do reality TV is to work, 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 build your brand, build your name. Because regardless of what, if you get on reality TV sometimes and you have no brand and no name, you will literally just fizzle the fuck out and nobody ever remember that you was even ever on TV. But if you build your brand, build your name, build your fan base, by the time you do get on reality TV, you already have fans, you already have a fan base. And, um, sorry. You already have fans, you already have a fan base, and it will be easier for you to capitalize off that opportunity. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I feel like a lot of the reason why I am doing so well is because I've been doing so much shit for so long before reality TV. Right. You built up, you you established yourself. Right. Like people see me right now and they're like, oh my God, it's because of baddies. I'm like, no, baby. This is. No, you've been doing this a long time. This 10 years in. Music with Trina. You get what I'm saying? Right. So I have connections, I have you. You I know you. Years. Like and, I've been coming here before, baddie. That's a valid point, you know, because a lot of people see a little success in all these people that you know look like they just came overnight success, but mm-hmm. they don't understand 
the grind. what we went through to get to this point. Like I didn't start rapping because I'm on reality TV. I've been rapping, right. so it just makes it better. Mm-hmm. Now I just platform just boosted. Like all the things that I've been doing before reality TV is just all coming full circle now. So right. do what you got to do now. Don't wait. And when you build your fan base, you build. You know what I'm saying everything. When you do get to the TV. All of it's just gonna come full circle. It'll come together, yeah, that's true. Round of applause for that. Round of applause. For that. That's what's up. So before we get out of here, I gotta ask y'all, where we at? We, we in Miami. Miami. We in Miami.